Hey everybody on YouTube, this is John, and I'm back here at my work at home desk during my lunch. About to eat this ramen. Now, this ramen is, uh, let me just show you the package Bulldog Corn Hot Chicken. You can see the little Bulldog uh, chicken guys are wearing sombreros. This is a product of Korea. But, as you can see, it is definitely Mexican-inspired with corn. And, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, a, a lote, uh, the way it looks, almost. There's noodles in the picture, there's corn, there's onions, some kind of powder. I think it's cheese. But anyway, this cooks up uh, the way that normally you do bulldog. You boil the noodles, you empty out most of the water. You add your little soup packet with the liquid. You add this one, which has some powdery stuff in it. And the ingredients say this includes uh, some cheese, like mozzarella cheese in it. But there's corn powder and corn flavoring. And I know when I added both of the, the powder and the, the liquid soup base to this, I definitely smelled like corn a whole lot. Um, so this is what it looks like. Didn't add anything to it. I have some other packs that I think I'm going to kind of try to spruce up. I think I'm going to make it like an elote where you, you put some mayo, lime juice, maybe some cheese on top of that. It's already spicy, so I don't know if you have to add more like cayenne to it. Some lime juice, I don't know if I said that. But anyway, let's go ahead and try this. The Bulldog Corn. As you know, mostly every time they come out with one of these new flavors, I have to try it. This has actually been sitting in my cabinet for quite some time. Not cooked. I just cooked it. It's been sitting in my cabinet in the packet. Let's go ahead and try this. Bowl dot corn. Definitely some spice in there. <clears throat> There's the hiccups. I probably should have drank something before this. Because now I'm going to hiccup through multiple bites. As you can see, I'm still wearing, rocking my quarantine long hair. The worst thing about trying to eat something on camera when getting hiccups is you don't know if you're going to swallow a bite and you're going to hiccup at the same time and potentially choke and die. Let's keep eating. The noodles for these ones are like the more flatter, wider ones. It's not like a fettuccine or linguine, but definitely like a little bit flatter and wider than the regular bulldog noodles. My eyes are watering a little bit. It doesn't say what the Scoville heat is on this one, but it's definitely spicier than like the regular cheese or carbo one, I think. Now, flavor-wise in this, you definitely get the same, <coughs> sorry, you get the same hot chicken flavor that you regularly get from Bulldog. I gotta say, the corn flavor isn't as, isn't as deep as the corn smell that I'm getting. Ooh, tingly. Um, 
think uh, if I was going to make this into an elote, I would add corn to it as well. Just like basically take a cup of elote and just like dump it in here and mix it up. That'd be good. Spicier than uh, the Taco Bell Flamin' Hot Doritos Locos Taco. I just have a little bit. I'm going to try to see if I can. No, I'm just going to use the fork that I brought. Make it easier for the last bite. Was the bulldog horn hands are a little shaky because of the spice mouth's a little on fire it's definitely one of the spicier ones anyway flavor wise probably not my favorite carbo still my favorite flavor wise but this is definitely up there on the spice ones I think it's at least as spicy as the the normal 1x spicy. Definitely not as spicy as the 2x or the ones above that. Alright, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video about the bulldog corn ramen. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.